Arlie F. Shackleton's and men like these have played a major role in mid-Atlantic dramas during recent weeks as solo sailors have battled against the elements. Flying from stations such as this, they have been instrumental in snatching at least one mariner from certain death. They crisscrossed vast sections of the Atlantic in their missions of mercy. Solo Atlantic yachtsman Johan de Kapp owes his life to them. When his 50-foot trimaran broke up, he managed to get a mayday signal off before taking to his dinghy. The cat could have been anywhere in thousands of square miles of grey Atlantic, but they found him. They searched too for round-the-world sailor Alec Rose and lively lady. But even as England's Geoffrey Williams crossed the line first at the end of the single-handed Atlantic yacht race, yet another tragedy was averted when a search plane sighted Edith Bauman, the only woman competitor. Edith, here aboard her trimaran, before the start of the race, ran into trouble in heavy seas. Her craft began to break up. Both she and her dog, Schatz, were rescued. Much praise to those who searched the seas from the skies. Earl 